Hey everyone, let's create a website from Notion today. After logging into your bullet dashboard, create a site by typing in the name of the site and preferred slug for your URL. To complete this, we need a Notion page URL. For that, let's duplicate a template from Bullet's gallery. Bullet has a wide range of templates ranging from knowledge base and blogs to landing pages and e-commerce sites. Let's create a portfolio website today. Let's choose the folio template. Folio looks neat and categorized. Take a look around and duplicate the template by clicking duplicate from the top right corner and then duplicate to Notion. You have to then duplicate the template to your workspace by clicking duplicate and then choosing your workspace. This is how the template looks in your Notion page. Let's go ahead and publish by clicking share from the top right corner and then copying the public URL. Let's paste this URL in the bullet dashboard and click create. Now that the website is published, we need to add the CSS to complete the website. For this we have to paste a code under head of the code section. Let's copy the code from the folio template and paste it. Don't forget to click Save and then click Publish. Now let's visit the published website. We've got a neatly published portfolio site in under a minute. It's well sorted with blogs, gallery, content and CTA. Now let's head back to our Notion page to customize our portfolio website. The first two entries in the Notion database are the contents of the home page and the blog page. You can go ahead and delete the unwanted pages. Within the home page you can find the exact content we just published. Take a look at how each Notion component looks on the website. Let's customize the name and description from the template to suit our needs. I'm adding a short description about a software developer. Any text wrapped in a bracket and is linked to a URL from Notion is converted into CTA button. Let's change the CTA text. We've inserted the bullet website URL for the sake of this video. You can customize, add or remove any element from the template to best suit your needs. You can change images in the gallery that represents your profile. Change the testimonials to some real-life feedback. For instance, let's change this image. You can just add any image from your computer or even add images from Unsplash. I'm adding a screenshot of this template for this video. Let's see how it turns out. Now let's visit the blog page of this template. If you're not familiar with how blogs work in Notion, check out our blog video. Here, we can see all the sample blogs in the template. Let's go back and do some final edits before publishing the website. Don't forget to customize your metadata before publishing. For the home page, you can leave the slug as it is. The page type is automatically static. Your meta title will appear on the search engine, customize it accordingly. For meta description, you can fill from 110 to 150 characters. For meta keywords, enter comma separated relevant keywords. Now that we've customized the folio template, let's republish the site and see how it looks.
this is how the site looks now. We got our name, the new image and the rest of the website neatly published. Now let's add our blog page to the navbar. To customize the navbar, click on the navbar from the bullet dashboard and select custom from the type dropdown. Next, we have the brand section. Here you can add the navbar text or even add a logo. By toggling the site searcher audience can find any particular information by simply typing in and searching. You can enter a custom URL to be linked to your navbar text as well. By leaving it empty, it will be linked to your home page. Now, let's add our blog page as a link in our navbar. Let's type in the text, choose page from the drop-down and choose which page to be linked to the text. You can also choose URL or a drop-down with multiple pages or URLs linked in the navbar section. You can also add a call to action button to your navbar. You can choose an URL or page to link to the CTA. Now that we've added our blog page, click save under each section and then republish the site. This is how the site looks now. We have the blog page in the navbar and the new navbar text as customized. Let's check out the blog page. We've got all the sample blogs neatly published. Our site now looks clean and neat. Let's now explore other customization options from the bullet dashboard. In the overview section, you can see how and when the site has been deployed with other technical data. Under pages, you can find each published page and sub pages. You can further edit the SEO and code of them individually. By editing the SEO, you can override the metadata from Notion and customize on your own from the dashboard. In the code editor, you can add a custom code to any particular page or even add a global code to customize your entire site. Under settings, you can find the Notion URL, site name and language code. You can also add your favicon and your social share thumbnail from here. You can enable password protection by toggling here and adding your preferred password. You can set your publishing frequency from here as well. You can choose between manual, hourly, and daily publishing. Under domains, you can choose your hosting type as a custom domain or subdirectory and add your custom domain from right below. Under advanced settings, you can redirect old URLs to new ones without losing any SEO juice. We have already gone through the customization of the navbar. Similarly, under footer, you can choose the simple option from drop-down and add links and social icons from the drop-down below. You can add your copyright text in the given section. You can also embed a newsletter or any custom CTA above the footer from here. Under files, you will find the SEO files such as robots.txt and ads.txt. Under theme, you have a variety of customization options. You can choose your colors, mode, even let your audience choose it for them. Similarly, you can customize the typography, layout, and badge for the website. You must be familiar with the code section by now. You can add your custom code to customize your website however you want. Now that you're familiar with publishing a website from Notion, go ahead and create yours now.